So now we are all set to start. Thank you once again for joining us today for this uh, uni talk, uh, the third or fourth in our um, uni talk session for this year. We're very happy to have today the University of Pforzheim, and we have here our two presenters. It's uh, Janina Balta and Tanya Zulubrino, which are going to introduce themselves and do the presentation. Uh, we are just going to explain how it's going to work today. Um, our colleagues from Germany are going to give their presentation in English. And then if you have any questions during the presentation, you can just write them on the chat. And then by the end of the presentation, we're going to have some uh, time for answer all of those questions. If you are not, um, willing or you do not want to write your question in English, you can write your question in Spanish and we translate it for you, but the answer is going to be in English. So if you understand English but not confident enough to write in English, don't worry, you can just ask the questions in Spanish. So without further ado, thank you very much, Ms. Uh, Mrs. Salimbrino and uh, Balta for being here today with us. And the floor is yours for presenting your university and your MBA program. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Navarrete and Mrs. Rodriguez, for having us today. Um, I'll quickly introduce myself. My name is Tanya. I'm the program coordinator of the MBA International Management Program here at Pforzheim University. And uh, my colleague and me, we want to give you some more information about our study program. But before I start the presentation, Janina is also quickly going to introduce herself. Hello, everybody. A warm welcome also from my side. It's nice to, to have you here today. And um, yeah, my name is Janina Walter. I'm the admissions coordinator for the MBA program, and I'm always happy to answer any individual questions to help with any questions about the admission process or the program. So always feel free to approach me um, also, of course, after the webinar. So um, now we're ready to start our presentation. There we go. I just quickly open it and we start. Okay. All right. So, yeah, you might wonder, um, first of all, where are we located? Where is the city of Pforzheim? So, actually, Pforzheim is located in southwest Germany and the federal state of Baden Württemberg. And um, yeah, it's a mid sized city, and we're actually close to um, bigger cities like Stuttgart and Karlsruhe. And it's also not far from um, well known cities like Frankfurt and Munich, for example. And of course, um, we're also very close to the border of France and also Switzerland and Austria. So it's a really nice location to explore um, yeah, Germany and the surrounding European countries. And uh, yeah, through an excellent railway network, it's, it's really easy to travel around. And we we'll move on to the next slide. As Janina mentioned, Pforzheim is located in the federal state of Baden-Württemberg, which is one of the strongest regions, the one of the strongest federal states in Germany, with a rather low unemployment rate. Um, here we brought along um, a map showing you the distance from Pforzheim between 40 and 80 kilometers with some of the companies um that are located close by many of them are well-known um, companies like bosch for example or sap of course the automotive industry is also quite important in our state which is daimler um, and porsche of course audi as well um, but besides those very well-known companies, there is a lot of so-called hidden champions. Those companies are mid-sized um, and some of them are really the global leaders in their respective business area. Many of them are family owned um, and they form the strong backbone of the econ economy of the Southwest. We brought along a couple of pictures to you. Pforzheim is located at uh, the entrance of the north of the Black Forest area. 
So that means that you can go for nice hikes um, in the Black Forest. You can also go skiing there in winter times. Um, Potsdam is located along three rivers. So we have many bars and restaurants on the riverbanks, um, many coffee shops in town. So um, there's nice possibilities to spend your leisure time. Now we move on to Pforzheim University and we would like to start by giving you a few facts and figures about our university and its history. Actually Pforzheim University is quite an old school so it was founded in 1877 when the School of Design was founded and later it got joined by the School of Engineering and the Business School. And our business school um, was founded in 1963. Today, the business school has around 3,500 students who are taught by approximately 97 professors. And we have around 100 partner universities all across the world. And when it comes to internationality, it's also nice to know that we have around 900 international students who come from approximately 17 nations. And the next slide, please. Um, today, the Business School Pforzheim has in total more than 17,000 graduates, and they come from 14 bachelor programs and 12 master programs. Of those master programs, um, we have two MBA programs, actually. One is an executive MBA, which is part-time and taught in German. And then there is our MBA in international management, which is all taught in English. And uh, very important to know also is that um, Fordham University was the first German public university ever allowed to grant an MBA degree. And this was in 1996. And also very important, of course, is our ASESB accreditation, which was first achieved in 2011 and had sin has since been re-accredited twice um, this year, the most recently. On the following slides, we will give you uh, a better information and we'll have a closer look on our program. Here you see the MBA at a glance. Our MBA is open to all candidates that hold a bachelor's degree um, from all different backgrounds. So if you are a lawyer, a physician, if you're an engineer, you, our program is open to all of you. Um, it's just important that you are holding an academic degree and that you have at least two years of work experience after your first academic degree. Our um, MBA program usually starts with the winter semester in October, and we are a full-time MBA program, which runs our full semester, which is 21 months. If you happen to have a business background, um, holding a bachelor's degree in business, then you will be able to skip the first semester where our students learn about business foundations mainly, and you will be able to take the short track uh, and start in the second semester of the MBA studies, which is every year in March. The course language is English throughout the course, although we are offering German classes which are integrated into our schedule on all different levels. Our um, education is founded on two pillars. Firstly, a general management education, and secondly, a specialization in innovation management, sustainable globalization, and digital transformation. From the second and the third semester onwards, our students are able to take electives. So besides the mandatory classes, there are also elective classes offered to our students. And there they can um, specialize for a certain area like um, consulting or marketing or finance and accounting. Many of our students want to switch their careers from one area to a different industry 
or they just want to find out what would be the industry that they really interested to work in after their graduation. We only take in 25 students each year, um, so the maximum class size is 25 students. And this very low faculty student ratio is something very special about our program, which means that our professors really know their students, they're very approachable and they support the students um, with their questions, with their work, and also um, sometimes with finding internships or jobs. So um, that actually allows, that small class size allows our professors to really concentrate on individual students. Um, our professors are practically experienced professors. This has something to do with the fact that we are a University of Applied Sciences. So each and every professor who works at a University of Applied Sciences has to have at least five years of experience in the industry in a leading position. Um, so our professors bring in lots of experience from the industry and this they can actually teach to our students. The tuition fee is um, in comparison to other MBA programs, quite low with 4,200 um, euros per semester. Um, this has something to do with the fact that our MBA is part of a public university, for some universities, a public university. So we don't have to make much profit. We just put the money back into the program and make sure that we can stay with those rather low tuition fees. And now we'll have a look at our MBA curriculum and the semester structure. As Tanya just mentioned, we have two intakes. One is in winter semester starting in September, October. And this is from can for candidates from all fields. So no matter what um, your first degree was on um, was and what subject your, your first degree was, you can you can apply for our uh, winter intake. And for those candidates who already have a business degree, they can also start in the summer intake in March. But if they, for example, would like to rather brush up their foundational skills again, they may also start in winter semester. And uh, yeah, in the first semester, in the winter semester, we cover all foundational courses um, ranging from foundations in accounting and finance to marketing um, and economics, of course, but also covering, for example, HR management or information management. And then in the second semester, we start with our um, specialization topics um, like, um, such as innovation management and sustainable development. But also we have our first elective courses. Um, and then in the third semester, we have an even broader variety of electives. And those electives are meant to allow every candidate to pursue their own individual career focus and, and interests. So therefore we have electives in the fields of marketing, consulting and finance and accounting. And also in the third semester, we have a company project, which is a great opportunity to work with an actual company uh, on a semester long project. Um, for those students who would like to get an even deeper international experience, they can also use the third semester to spend it at one of our partner universities. And um, this is optional for international students, but um, it's a nice opportunity to, to study in another country during the MBA studies with us. And then in the last semester is when our students write their thesis. And this can be either done on a topic of their own or with a company um, together. And uh, throughout the program, throughout all semesters, we have um, yeah, company experiences such as company visits and guest lecturers, for example. And this is always a great opportunity to network 
And also during the program, during all semesters, we offer German language classes on all levels, ranging from A1 to uh, C1 courses. And now we move on to the next slide. So you might ask what's so special about the MBA International Management Program at Pforzheim University. Now, one of our biggest strengths is the intense corporations that we have with different companies. Uh, we take our students to company visits. Sometimes that might be um, day visits, so we only go out to visit one company, but we also take our um, students to excursions, like next week, for example, we will be in Munich for four days um, and visiting many different companies from all different industries to give our students a chance to network with those company representatives and get more ideas of where they might want to work. Some of them might even be their future employers. So companies that we visited are Puma, Daimler, Trumpf, Microsoft or Accenture in the past, just to name a few of them. Then, of course, we do have guests in classroom throughout the semester. That means that uh, leading managers or executives are coming to our classroom. Um, they give talks to our students. They introduce themselves um, and they also tell them about job opportunities. So this is also a great opportunity to network with um, representatives from different um, companies. The company projects that Janina mentioned is a very important thing in the third semester. Throughout the whole semester, student groups of between three and five students, they work on a real life project um, for a certain company. Um, and during that project, they can actually put in practice what they have learned in class before. Um, many of those company projects have been implemented, um, so it is also a big learning for the individual companies. Um, and as I said, some of um, the findings of our students have been implemented um, in the respective companies. Another big thing about our program is the cross-cultural experience that our students get while they are studying with us. That already starts in classrooms since our students come from all over the world. Um, usually we have between at least five, but um, up to 10 different nationalities in one classroom. So students get used to working together in, um, in groups, in teams with people from different cultural um, backgrounds, which is also a big plus um, if they get well prepared for our globalized world and for their future um, jobs. Um, the second thing is that we every semester invite guest professors from the US, from South Africa, also from France or Peru, from the UK. Um, they are teaching business classes to our students and give them a possibility to get either to even uh, broaden their horizon and give them an idea how business is taught in other countries and learn about different approaches, not just the German approach, but also um, an international approach to business. As Janina mentioned, in the third semester, our students do also get a chance to do a semester abroad. Um, at one of our partner universities. All of our partner universities are AACSB accredited to ensure that um, our students have um, the same quality of education during their semester abroad as they would get while they would still be with us. And there is even a chance to do a double degree um, with the University of Wyoming or with the Ischgede University in Lisbon, Portugal. And now you might wonder what you have to do in order to uh, apply for our program. So here's a short overview of the application process and the admission requirements. 
First of all, as already mentioned, um, you will need to have a first um, university degree on bachelor level at least. And um, I said, it doesn't matter what subject your first degree was in, it can be from engineering to law or a medical field, for example. Um, this is all possible for admission and many more, of course. Um, so if there's any questions, always feel free to, to approach me for an eligibility check. And um, next, um, we require the GMAT or the equivalent uh, GRE um, test. And um, the required GMAT score is uh, 550 plus. Um, since we are an English speaking program, it's important that all candidates um, have good uh, English language skills. Um, therefore, we require proof of English language skills either through the TOEFL or the IELTS test. Or um, if English was the first language of instruction during the first um, university degree, we can also accept this as proof of English language skills. And for the TOEFL, the expected score would be 100. And for the IELTS test, the expected score would be 7.0 or above. Um, then we also expect two years of full work time, um, of full time work experience after the first university degree. So this is important to have some professional experience um, because this will allow MBA candidates to benefit more from classroom discussions and to contribute to classroom discussions. Further documents that will be required are a CV and a motivation letter and an essay on extracurricular activities. Those should be one page each approximately and the essay should cover anything from volunteer activities to hobbies, sports or other interests. And then once all documents are complete, we will invite the candidates for an interview, which usually takes place um, via Skype or MS Teams, or if a candidate happens to be in Germany already, would invite um, him or her in person, of course. And uh, the application deadlines are uh, for our winter intake um, June 15th um, for those candidates who still need a visa or July 31st for those candidates who already uh, have an EU uh, residency or passport. And for our March intake, uh, which is open for business uh, graduates only, the application deadline would be December 15th. Uh, if a visa is still needed or January 31st for EU visa holders. And uh, it's absolutely possible to apply for the June 15th deadline still. And if there's any questions, um, please approach me. And all applications can be made through our online application platform on our website. Now we move on to the next slide. Now, we gave you more or less the hard facts about our MBA program, but of course there is some very individual um, things that our alumni have to tell you about our program. Eduardo, for example, he um, is from Mexico. He said that the MBA enabled him to switch his career from an engineering background to international marketing and that the studies with us allowed him to broaden his set of skills, which made him attractive for the German labor market in the end of his studies. Nancy from Mexico, she said that she learned how to work in international teams um, with people from different countries and that um, she very much enjoyed the multicultural environment in those teams. Um, and also that the well-prepared professors allowed them to visit companies um, and that the MBA uh, was a great life and professional experience for her. Franco from Brazil, he also had an incredible experience here in our MBA. Um, he said that our program allowed him to develop his business acumen and to build a business network from zero in Germany. He only moved to Germany for his MBA studies, like most of our students. He made great friends in our program. Um, 
I know that those guys are still in contact and meet regularly and um, that he enjoyed very much to be exposed to different cultures. And of course, he also praises the outstanding professors um, that bring in class their excellent market experience. Some more testimonials are Natalie from Ecuador, for example. She has a passion for innovation and new technologies. And in our program, she gained the fundamental knowledge and skills to effectively design and develop services, which she does in her job um, at Bosch today. Andre from Romania, um, he did uh, internships in Munich and in Frankfurt and landed a job right afterwards. Today he's working in Hamburg and she is he is also one of our um, lecturers, part-time lecturers here in our program. Gabriela from Mexico, um, she praises the uh, academic quality of the program and its accreditations. As Janina said, the AACSB accreditation is really something very special to guarantee the academic quality of our program. Um, and also the cooperation with different um, universities because Gabriella, she spent a semester abroad in France, um, which she enjoyed very much and gave her a new perspective um, on different um, things. Now today she's also working um, in Germany with SAP. And now towards the end of our presentation, we would like to give you a short um, overview of how student life in Pforzheim looks like and yes, yeah, some, some practical information when it comes to life in Pforzheim. So first of all, and very important, of course, is uh, accommodation. So in order to um, yeah, make it an easy experience to find housing um, for the students, we give every admitted student a housing list before their arrival. So that way um, they can reach out to student dorms or um, private landlords um, before their arrival in Germany and secure accommodation in advance. And as for the costs, a room in a student dormitory costs around 220 euros a month. And the cost, for example, for a room in a shared apartment uh, might be around the same price or a little bit higher. In general, the living costs in, in Pforzheim are a bit lower than um, yeah, in bigger cities in Germany. Um, thus, um, the living costs, including the rent, can be estimated with around 650 to 700 euros a month. And nice to know also is that the student ID card can be also used as a public transportation ticket. So students can use all buses in Pforzheim for free and also make use of some of the local trains around Pforzheim and travel for free in them as well. And um, then um, after the arrival in Germany, after the arrival in Pforzheim, we also have a few um, yeah, init initiatives to facilitate the, the integration process. So um, we offer pre-semester German language courses to all candidates who don't have any German, uh, any knowledge of the German language yet. So they can take an A1, uh, sometimes an A2 course before the actual uh, MBA classes start. Then during the arrival week, there's uh, several um, yeah, events and, for example, guided tours um, of, of the campus and of the city of Pforzheim to uh, give the students the opportunity to make themselves familiar with their new surroundings. And during the arrival week, also the student clubs and initiatives will introduce themselves. For example, um, the club Gemini, which is the international student club. And um, also from the MBA program, all new students will be connected with a buddy student uh, from um, the uh, senior MBA batch. And they can help with finding accommodation with uh, and with further preparations for the time in Fort Time. And I'll hand over to Tanya. 
Now, another very important question would be, how can you land a job after graduating from our MBA program? We also support you um, here because we offer preparatory classes on how to apply for a job in Germany. This might differ from country to country and might be a bit different in Germany than you are used to uh, in your home country. So we try to support you there. Then, of course, we have different fairs taking place, job fairs on our campus, like the Meet Master Fair, uh, Campus X, or the um, Career Breakfasts. This is when companies come um, on campus and have meetings with our students. Our students can hand over the, their CVs, um, can introduce themselves to those companies, can find out um, what kind of people they are looking for and can, of course, network with them. Many of our students do have working student jobs. We are a full-time MBA program, but some of them do work part-time. Um, so that can also be a door opener for them or to do an internship at a company in the semester break. Then um, we do run a mentoring program, which matches a current student with an alumnus. Um, and those alumni, they support our current students throughout their studies and also later on when they are on um, the job hunt. The alumni meetings that take place once um, a semester are also a great chance to network with our alumni. So if one of our students knows exactly a certain company he would like to work with or a certain industry he would like to work uh, in after their graduation, they get a possibility to meet people from that industry, connect with them um, and get more information where there are job openings, for example. And of course, another thing is our um, excursions. Also during those excursions, as I mentioned before, um, there are great chances to build up your, um, your business network that you can use after your graduation. Now, all of our students, um, they find a job within six months after graduating, many of them um, having a contract already while they are still um, writing on their thesis in the fourth semester. Now, to end this presentation, I would just uh, quickly introduce our team to you. Um, today, you met Janina and myself. And there's also our program director, um, Professor Harald Strothmann, um, and Professor Markus Oliver Schwab, who's responsible for company contacts and projects. If you would think about uh, spending a semester abroad, then Jochen Ebert, coordinator of international programs, would be the person you would approach. And then uh, we have two other team members, which are Heidi Kleko and Sabrina Mitrasch. They guarantee that everything is running smoothly in our program. Um, they take care about schedules. They um, take care about our excursion planning um, and everything um, that our students need to know. Uh, very important is, of course, our homepage um, and our email address. Janina mentioned to you before, if any questions are coming up after this presentation, you can send us an email to mba at hs-forzheim.de um, and we will be happy to answer your questions. And um, Janina is just quickly at the end of this presentation showing you our homepage and give you some more information about that. Just need to quickly. Here's um, yeah our website and.
further information um, of what we said today uh, on our website and request further information here as well. And then also you can start the application here. And in this regard, it's also very important our admissions page, which you will find by clicking on the left side to the admissions button. And there you will find detailed information on the admission process, um, the requirements and further information about the interview, of course. And um, by clicking this button, you can start your application right away and uh, attach also your application documents at the end of um, the application. And feel free to, to explore our page and if there's any questions, um, always also feel free to, to get in touch with us, email us and uh, we'll be happy to, to help you further. Perfect. Thank you very much for all that information about the MBA program on the university and the beautiful city of Forsheim right north of the Black Forest. Um, I think it's very important to mention, I don't know if students know this fact, but there are many MBA programs in Germany, but not too many of those you can apply with any undergraduate program. So the, that was mentioned a couple of times during this presentation, but I just want to <laughs> say it one more time because that's very difficult to find in some cases um, there are universities where you actually need to study economics or management and stuff like that so if you come from other areas it's kind of difficult so here you have the chance to just uh, take a, a change your, of your undergraduate programs and then start in this new MBA um, and that's not an easy task to do in, uh, so thank you um, for having that option as well, because that's something that we get asked a lot. There are many programs in Germany where it's very specific what you need to study beforehand, and there are some programs where luckily you can still uh, jump in from any other fields. Um, I see that there are two questions here in the chat. Um, I don't know if you want to maybe stop uh, sharing your screen uh, so we can see you both. A bit. Larger, there we go, <laughs> especially for the people uh, joining us from uh, their mobile phones. Um, the first question is uh, from Marcela, and she asks, is there any possibility of being able to attend classes with a visa not yet approved? I'm sorry I didn't understand that part fully, just in case that happens. Um, well, of course, the visa is, is a very important question. And yeah, in fact, we have not covered that part in detail yet. Um, the regular process is that um, candidates would apply for our program. And after receiving admission to our program, they would start um, the admission process, uh, the, the visa application process with their local um, embassy or consulate. And um, yeah, this can take some time. It can be time consuming before even getting a visa appointment. So it's always recommended to, to make yourself familiar with a visa application procedure in advance. And then, um, yeah, also apply with us at an early stage. And we will then also guide you through the visa application process. Uh, we will support you wherever we can. We cannot do the visa application for the candidates, but we will support uh, in every respect um, where, where possible. And if I can just add something to that question, that's a question that we get a lot here in the DAD for people traveling to Germany. The visa is also not done through the DAD, it's directly as um, as uh, Janina mentioned, directly with the German embassy here in Santiago. Uh, so that's something that you need to do. and. It's really very hard to go to Germany without a visa approved because we as Chileans can go to Germany for three months uh, without a visa, but then we have to go back to our countries. And it's not easy. It's really, really hard to uh, change your visa status while being in Germany. So that's not something that we uh, recommend. Um, so we recommend you to do all the things here. Um, that's why there's two application periods at this and almost every university in Germany, because they know that you need to get an answer soon because the process of visa application, it's a long one. So um, in our website, you can find all the information also regarding the visa. Um, 
and you can of course check the website from their German embassy here in Santiago if you're in Chile or the German embassy to uh, correspond to your country. Uh, the next question is uh, if the um, numerous clauses also applies when one wants to do a master's degree. Um, not for our MBA program. So um, we have, um, yeah, admission requirements um, or an admission system that relies on several factors. And while we um, expect a good um, bachelor degree, a good undergraduate degree, we don't have a numerous clauses in, in this sense. Um, but of course, we require the GMAT um, or the GRE test. And there we have uh, minimum requirements um, that have to be met. And then we base our overall assessment of the application also on um, yeah, the written part of the application, the documents and qualifications, but also the interview. And based on that, um, the admission decision will be made by the admission committee. Exactly. So be sure to read all of the documents that you need. Don't forget any of them. Schedule at an at time an appointment as well with the G, GMAT test here. You can do it also here in Chile, so that's not a problem, but you have to do it on time. That's very important. For everything that you want to apply, well, we say just do it on time and it should be fine. Mm -hmm. So the next question is from Christian and he asks, is there an age limit or a recommended age when applying to the program? That's a very good question. Yeah, so um, actually we don't have any age limits. Um, most of our students are um, in their late 20s to early 30s um, since we expect some work experience after the um, bachelor degree. Naturally, the candidates would be a little bit older than um, yeah, bachelor students or, or um, consecutive master students. So usually the age, um, yeah, range is from mid of mid twenties till mid thirties, but we also have students younger or older than this age um, range. So there's no limits at all. So there you go, Christian. And another question is, What's the approximate percentage of applications you receive versus the accepted candidates? So um, as a rough number, which is also a little bit different every year, of course, um, we have approximately 10 applications per available seat. So um, we take in students for, for winter intake, as mentioned before, and they later get joined by the students of the summer intake. So we combine those both uh, intakes to one batch and we have a total number of um, not more than 25 students per batch. So usually in winter semester we have around um, 16 to, to 20 students joining and then in summer semester it's around five to six new students joining the previous year's batch. And then yeah, you, you get a rough idea of how many applications we get and yeah, it's approximately 10 per available seat. So there you go as well. And another question regarding visa is how long does the student visa last? And is it possible to renew the visa when I'm already in Germany? Maybe I can jump in also on that question uh, because it's the same for all of Chilean students going to Germany to any program. The student's visa is something that you have to renew each year. So you do it for one year and then you have to renew it each year over there. But um, Marcela, all of the information is on the website of the German embassy. Um, it changes, uh, the, the law, the immigration law changes constantly. So that's why we always refer you to the website of the German embassy, because if something changes, that's where you will find the last changes and the newest information. Uh, but yeah, you have to renew it over there in Germany. I think in France, and maybe there is um, uh, uh, the national uh, foreigners office, maybe, uh, or in a nearby city. Uh, I don't know. But if you can tell us if, if that's the case. Yeah. So the the immigration office at Fordheim is is also very approachable and helpful. And since Fordheim is not quite as big as, for example, the city of Berlin, um, also those um, authorities are a little bit more 
personal you get your personal contact person and um, it, it's very easy to discuss matters of residency um, or student um, visa statuses with them and um, usually it's a very smooth process so after arrival um, students will have an appointment uh, with their personal contact at the immigration office and from there it's it's quite a smooth process that's true if you're doing it in a smaller city the process is much much nicer than when you're doing it in a big city so you're lucky over there in Pforzheim so thank you very much for your questions I don't see any more questions um, I think if there is any questions it usually happens that once we close the presentation, then uh, questions comes up. So I will ask uh, you to maybe write your uh, contact email uh, again, uh, just in case someone didn't uh, get the chance to write it. I know that we uh, we are sending your emails to the university, so they can also contact you afterwards. But it's always nice to have the, the email once again, just in case there are any questions afterwards. And remember that this session has been recorded and we're going to put it on our website once it's finished. Um, so in case you missed any part or right late to the presentation or your connection was not stable enough to hear it, uh, then you can watch the whole thing again um, after maybe tomorrow or even today. We're just going to upload it and then put the link right in the same uh, place where you registered for today. So I don't know if you have any final comments or recommendations or anything that you want to tell us either uh, Mrs. Falta or uh, Mrs. Solombrino before we close today. No? So, um, yeah, it was very nice um, talking to, to all of you today. And thank you very much, Mr. Navarrete, for, for hosting us. And um, yeah, as I said before, always for free um, to reach out with any questions when it comes to eligibility or the GMAT or English language tests. Um, when there's any questions, when to schedule the test or when to apply, um, we can always discuss individual timelines and um, discuss the best path for an application with us, whether it's for an upcoming intake or maybe a year ahead, um, we always recommend also to yeah reach out anytime. Also, a year in advance is, is totally fine um, because yeah sometimes it's it's better to plan a little bit in, in advance, especially when the GMAT, for example, is still pending. Thank you very much for being with us today, and thanks for uh, having us today, Mr. Navarrete. It was a pleasure, um, and we are looking forward to your applications. Yep, and for our side, also, thank you very much for joining us live from uh, spring Germany. I hope that the spring is coming finally to Germany because they hear the autumn is coming. So we hope that you are having the nice weather over there. And thank you for giving us your time to give us all the details regarding this program. And always um, remember to all of us joining us today that you can feel free to contact the university afterwards. We only have these sessions. Um, maybe once or twice a year, but you can contact the university anytime you want. Anytime. They're always there for you to answer all of your questions regarding this or other programs that they have. So thank you once again, and we'll see you in the next time. Goodbye from thank our you. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.